Traffic roadways are causing problems this morning across the Bay Area. KPIX 5's Jessica Flores continues our storm coverage from the Oakland Hills. Jessica? Hey, good morning, Michelle. Well, the good news is it's not raining out here in Oakland and Berkeley area at the moment, but folks do need to be concerned about those slick roads, possibly some new potholes in the road, and that rain really pounded the region yesterday, causing a lot of problems for first responders and drivers. Over at a Trader Joe's parking lot in Oakland, that's right off 580, a car landed on top of those cars. Police say a pickup truck hydroplaned off the freeway, flew through the fence and crashed into another car. That car went over the retaining wall and two people were hurt, including a pregnant woman. And yesterday, firefighters rushed to an accident on eastbound 580 at the peak of rush hour traffic. Over on Highway 24, rainwater washed out a ramp, backing up storm drains and creating dangerous hydroplaning conditions. The storm also flooded streets in East Oakland. High Street flooded with about a foot of water and other low-lying streets near the Oakland Coliseum also flooded. Now, over in San Francisco, it was the third wettest on record in 22 years yesterday with a little more than three inches of rain. Now again out here live Oakland Berkeley area we're not seeing rain at the moment but I can tell you the roads are still very slick and people have to watch out for some ponding and possibly those newly formed potholes. Reporting live here in Oakland I'm Jessica Flores KPIX 5. Yeah just take your time. All right Jessica thank you. Let's head now to the Santa Cruz Mountains where Sandra Osborne is live along Highway 17. Good morning. Hey, good morning, and you'll notice I'm not using an umbrella either this morning. We're currently not getting any rain, but during our drive out here into the Santa Cruz Mountains this morning, we did see some ponding on the roadway. Right behind me, this is Highway 17. The roads there are slick as well. Now, the steady rainfall we've seen in the Santa Cruz Mountains over the past 24 hours or so comes after one of the driest Decembers on record. Boulder Creek receiving nearly five inches of rain so far. Ben Lomond, 5.2. As of last night, the Lexington Reservoir near Los Gatos reached 27% capacity. The Santa Clara Valley Water District says there is room to capture runoff at its 10 reservoirs nearby. But one of the big concerns, of course, with all this rain is the safety on the roads, especially through the mountains. We encourage people to always be ready to pack a bag, be aware that they may have to leave in a moment's notice or that they might not be able to get home due to road closures. And you'll remember last winter, fierce storms washed out a 200-foot chunk of Highway 35 and tons of earth that supported the roadbed near Las Cumbres Road. Caltrans did announce, though, that after 10 months of work, $10 million, and three retaining walls that were recently installed in what they called an emergency order, they're planning on opening back up that section of the highway a little later this morning. Live in the Santa Cruz Mountains, Sandra Osborne, KPIX 5.